Hi everyone, Erica Viscovich here with Signature Premier Properties in Locust Valley, where we like to keep our community connected with the help of parkbench.com. Today I'm in Bayville with uh, the shop owner, uh, Mary Jean, who owns the shop over the bridge. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining me. So um, you have some lovely items in here. Um, can you share with everybody what kind of items you, you have? Well, it's really, I think, an eclectic combination of things. Um, outdoor dishes, stationery, uh, lanterns to decorate your outside, candles, garden ornaments, um, beautiful terracotta planters, um, uh, Bayville towels, uh, Bayville blankets, regular Bayville blankets, signs. Bayville signs. Um, okay. It's really, you know, scout bags. It's really a combination of a lot of things that I feel that I would want to buy and not have to leave town. Fantastic, fantastic. Where uh, do you get your inspiration um, and your eye for uh, beauty? Uh, <laughs> Um, well, my background is in horticulture, so I visit a lot of gardens, and I tend to um, want to use things that aren't seen everywhere in, you know, my annual plantings, my perennial plantings, my background. I worked at planting fields for a lot of years, oh. so I really got to learn about a wide array of plants that most people don't know about. Um, we travel a lot, and, uh, you know, I love poking into stores and poking into stores like this and just trying to find things that aren't uh, everywhere. Right, very unique. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, okay, so how long have you been in business? Well, that's an interesting question. I opened in June and um, I know some people are aware that there was a store called Over the Bridge here many years ago. This is not the same store. Many people ask me if I'm the same owner. Uh, I'm not the same owner. I didn't take over the store. This is from scratch. I kept the name because it's a nice name and the sign was outside. So, you know, I have totally different inventory and I welcome the people that, you know, aren't, aren't familiar with the new over the bridge to come in and check it out. Fantastic, fantastic, excellent. Um, so why did you choose Bayville to open? Well, we live here. Um, sort of a fantasy of mine is to work in the town where I live, bring my dog to work, walk to work, which I sometimes do. And uh, for years, I used to drive past this store and say, one day I'm going to open a store there. And you did. And I did. Fantastic. <laughs> I did. Excellent. Well, um, I love Bebo. What do you love about Bebo? I love everything about it. I, I love being in a small town. Mm -hmm. I love when people walk in the door that I know them, that they know me. I love when I'm in the post office and I see someone and I say hello. Um, I, being on the beach. Being on the beach is the best thing. My husband says he, as he comes over the bridge every day, when he gets home from work, it's like everything just washes off his back. Oh, yes. And when you go over home. that bridge. Yeah. Right? Yes. It's, <laughs> it's, it's great. And um, the funny thing is that we have friends since high school, and we've all ended up here oh. in the last couple of years. So, you know, we really enjoy being here. And, and I really want Over the Bridge to be part of the community. Okay. Fantastic. Um, all right, so uh, people might be surprised to know that you, you mean, you obviously sell beautiful things, right? Uh, but you also uh, sell things for the garden. Sells, um, mm -hmm. And you help people design their gardens. I can help people design their gardens. I can do their uh, seasonal plantings, their outdoor pots. I can guide you as to what uh, should be planted where, how to prune things pretty much anything that goes along with having a garden. Um, I also am getting into this year um, communion, um, wedding, personalization things. Okay. Um, I just am partnering with a woman who will be doing embroidery for me. So um, we can do a lot of personalized personalized things like the scout bags and t-shirts t-shirts you have aprons um, aprons. Beautiful aprons so mm -hmm. bags you can blankets personalize. oh yes towels like i have these beautiful chappy wrap blankets here that one the white one is of long island sound beautiful uh the name of your boat can be inscribed on it mm -hmm. um, oh fantastic so you know the store is growing organically and i also try to get a lot of handmade in the u.s um 
I have some potters, one from Maine, one from Austin, Texas, that do beautiful work. Oh, great. Okay, yeah. good. Uh, you hold, uh, you can do parties here? Yes. For the little children? Yeah, we yes. have not had one yet, so whoever wants to be the first. I have a back room here. I have oh. um, a um, preschool art teacher that I'm partnering with, and we plan on doing nature-based craft birthday parties here. Fantastic. I know that'll go over very well here. So we got to get the word out. Yeah, we got to get the word out. Because that's and a great thing. Then I do workshops. Uh, this Thursday at 7 p.m., I'm doing a workshop on creating a um, succulent garden. Okay. So everybody will go home with uh, a round ceramic planted succulent garden. That they planted themselves. That they planted with themselves. Your guidance. With my guidance. Great. I provide all the materials and snacks. People can bring wine if they so choose. Okay. And um, then the attendees also get 10% off something in the shop. So it's this Thursday at 7. Great. Excellent. I will put that up on the website. Um, so uh, Bayville has a birthday coming up. Uh, Bayville's turning 100. Yes. Are you doing anything special for the centennial? Yes. Actually, along with the Chamber of Commerce, um, Over the Bridge is going to be the home of the uh, photography contest. Wow. So it's going to run from April 1st to, I believe, August 15th. Okay. Anybody can join. Um, the paperwork on it will be going out soon. You would contact me to sign up, and I'll give you the rule sheet and everything. We have, I think, six or seven different categories, a couple categories for kids, and everything's going to be anonymous. Okay, so, but the display is going to be here. And the display is going to be Fantastic. here. Fantastic, okay. Um, I love that idea. And when you sign up, you get a number. And your number has to be on everything that you submit. This way, nobody has any idea who anybody is. Okay. So, um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I really look forward to seeing... Oh, my gosh. Me, what, too. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be with a professional camera. To Instagram, you know, your... Um, your iPhone, yeah. your Android, just snap away. And um, we're not looking for professional photographers. I've we're, taken some fantastic sunset pictures with my iPhone. Yes, <laughs> we're looking for fun pictures Great. that tell everybody what you really feel about Babel. A story about Babel yeah. through mm -hmm. photography. Yes, so uh, that'll be exciting. And then yep. a lot of people have always asked me about doing t-shirts and stuff. So this year I thought, well, I'll give it a shot. It's the 100th anniversary. So I came up with this, Babel in the front, the American flag in the back, and then the dates of the centennial. I love it. And Beautiful. I did a hat with a striped bass. And again, the dates of the centennial. But what's really the special about these shirts and hats. They're done by a company in Port Washington called spectrumdesigns.org. And 70% of their employees are on the autism spectrum. Oh my, that's it so was, amazing. It was created uh, by a woman who I know to give young adults on the autism spectrum jobs yeah. to teach them and they get paid and they become part of the community. Absolutely. And I felt it was really important to use them for this and they have done a fabulous job. Fantastic, I love that, Yeah, I love that. Gifts you can pick up here and um, support this great local community. And items for your home. And items for your home. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.